Let's have a recap of what quadratic equation is all about, children. Any equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a is not equal to zero, children. The coefficient of x squared is not equal to zero is a quadratic equation, children. This is a quadratic equation. Ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a, b, c are constants. A, b, c are constants, and x is the variable. X is the variable. It's, it goes in descending order, children. Two, then power of one, and then power of zero. It's decreasing order. Two, one, and zero, children. We must remember that. Well, x to power of one is x only, and x to power of zero is one. So we don't write that down explicitly. We just leave it as it is. Now, children, we can solve this using factorization, or we can solve using the formula. The formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus four ac. The whole thing upon two a. Now, children, if if we can't factorize, we'll use the formula. And depending upon the value of b squared minus four ac, the discriminant. See, children, these are normal numbers and stuff. But depending upon the value of this, that's b squared minus four ac, which we call it as a discriminant. Discriminant d, discriminant d. It can have three possible values. It can either be equal to zero, it can be negative, or it can be positive. There's no other possibility, children. It can be either negative, zero, or positive. If it's negative, the roots are imaginary. The roots are roots are not real or imaginary. When it's equal to zero, when the discriminant is equal to zero, when the discriminant is equal to zero, the roots are are real and equal there's only one answer for it which is minus b by 2a minus b by 2a both of them are equal to minus b by 2a only children when it's positive when discriminant is positive when b squared minus 4ac is positive now there can be two possibilities children either it's a perfect square or not a perfect square Children, if it's a perfect square, the the roots are roots are real, unequal, are different two roots, so unequal and rational. Rational means can express in fraction format. It's not a perfect square, children. That time the roots are real, unequal and irrational irrational children now important thing over here to remember children is the roots are real for this for this and for this all these country conditions roots are real the only unreal or not real here in the place where discriminant is, is negative in these two places the roots are unequal unequal here it's only one of them so it's equal and this is irrational and this is irrational children irrational means you've got a root three root five or some value of that kind let's see for examples to understand and elaborate on that Question says, solve for x, 3a squared x squared plus 8abx plus 4b squared is equal to 0. The method goes, children, the product is 12a squared b squared, product is 12a squared b squared, sum is 8ab, that's the two numbers are 6 a squared b squared and numbers are 6ab and 2a because that gives you 12a squared b squared and the add up will give you 8ab so that's 3a squared x squared plus 6ab plus 2ab x plus 4b squared is equal to 0 take common take common that's 3a x taken common ax plus 2b plus 2b ax plus 2b equals to 0. That's 3ax plus 2b as a factor or ax plus 2b as another factor. 3ax is equal to minus my 3ax plus 2b equals to 0. That's x is equal to minus 2b by 3a or 
ax plus 2b equals to 0 that's x is equal to minus 2b by a solution set minus 2b by 3a comma minus 2b by a so children here a and b are constant that it is constant children so we just keep on simplifying it and then we come to the final answer let's see another example children of this kind question says solve for x given root of x upon 1 minus x plus root of 1 minus x upon x is equal to 13 by 6 x is not equal to 0 and x is not equal to 1 for that case children we are again what we're going to do is substitution that's take root of x upon 1 minus x is equal to y y plus 1 upon y equals to 13 by 6 take lcm cross multiply Thirty six is the product, so it's nine and four. Six y squared minus nine y minus four y plus six equals to zero. Take common, take common. Two y minus three equals to zero. So two y minus three in one bracket or three y minus two is equal to zero. It's y is equal to three by two or y is equal to 2 by 3. Now we substitute the values over here. So that becomes root of x minus 1. x upon 1 minus x is equal to 3 by 2. Or root of x upon 1 minus x is equal to 2 by 3. Squaring both sides, children will get x upon 1 minus x is equal to 9 by 4 cross multiply. 4x is equal to 9 minus 9x. 13x is equal to 9, x is equal to 9 by 13, that's one answer. Or the other case, we get x upon 1 minus x is equal to 4 by 9. 9x is equal to 4 minus 4x. 13x is equal to 4, x is equal to 4 by 13. Solution set, the values of x, 9 by 13, comma, 4 by 13. So here, in both cases, children, we haven't we didn't need to use the formula. We didn't need to use the formula. We could have done without it. Now let's see another example with the formula. Question says solve for x. That's 3x squared plus 2 root 5x minus 5 is equal to 0 a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2 root 5, and c is equal to minus 5. Now children, we solve, that's x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac upon 2a. That's minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4a into c upon 2a. That gives us children minus 2 root 5 plus or minus root of 20. Upon 6. That's root 80 children. Root 80 factorizes to root 16 times 5. That's 4 root 5. Now children we can take 2 common to get minus 5 plus or minus because this value becomes 4 root 5 we get 2 root 5 upon 6 cancels with this now we get children minus 5 minus root 5 minus root 5 that's minus 3 root 5 upon 3 or we get minus root 5 plus 2 root 5 that's root 5 upon 3 this cancels with this solution set would come out to be minus root 5 comma root 5 by 3 so children, here we see how we apply the formula and come to the final answer. Let's see next question, children. Comment of comment on nature of roots. Without solving the equation. So 
So it is something like this children. We have been given x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. So the values of a, b and c that is a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, c is equal to 1. So discriminant d which is equal to b squared minus 4ac that is 16 minus 4 into a into c at 16 minus 4 that is 12 and 12 is not a perfect square it is greater than 0. It is greater than 0 it is not a perfect square. So the roots will come out to be children the roots are real unequal and irrational. Another example children of something like this would be 10 a x squared minus 6 x plus 15 a x minus 9 equals to 0. So the value a of a is 10 a the value of b is minus 6 plus 15 a and the value of c is negative 9. So discriminant children which is b squared minus 4 a c would come out to be 15a minus 6 the whole squared minus 4 times a times c. So that becomes children 225a squared plus 36 minus 180a plus 36 360a which becomes 225a squared plus 36 plus 180a which children becomes 15a plus 6 the whole square and since it's a perfect square since the discriminant is a perfect square since the discriminant is a perfect square and any perfect square value any perfect square value would be greater than 0 any perfect square value would be greater than 0 therefore children the roots are real unequal and rational for some like this children. Let's see some problems children now. Now the question says children, a floor is paved with 35 square tiles of a size The rectangular tiles of length 4 cm bigger bigger length and 1 cm less and breadth Then that of the square size are used. Only sixty four tiles are needed. Find the length of the square of square. So what is the information given children? Let the side of square be x centimeters. So children it's x x centimeters x centimeters and the other one which is rectangular children is less by 1 centimeter and more by 4. Now children the area of this the area of square is side squared the area of square is side squared so area of this is side squared and we require 75 tiles the other case children area is length into breadth area is length into breadth we require 64 tiles and children they pave the same area the area covered by this equal to area covered by this area covered by this equal to area covered by this children there is no difference 
Now, when you expand the children, That's 0 is equal to minus 11x squared plus 192x minus 256. I'll bring everything on the same side, children. We get 11x squared minus 192x plus 256 is equal to 0. Therefore, children, the factors of this would come out to be. Product is 256 times 11 and the numbers are 11 times 8 88 times 2 that's 176 and the other one is 16 both being negative so 176 x minus 16 x plus 256 is equal to 0 that's 11 x x minus 16 minus 16 x minus 16 so 11x minus 16 or x minus 16 is equal to x is equal to 11 by 16 by 11 or x is equal to 16. So children here 16 by 11 can't be a side children. 16 by 11 can't be a side. Therefore the side of the square is 16 centimeters. What's the next question children? Now the question says, children, a piece of cloth costs rupees 35. If the piece were 4 meters longer, and each meter costs rupee 1 less, The cost would remain unchanged. How long is the piece? So, the important thing over here we must realize that the cost is based on the length the cost is based on the length not on the area the, the the breadth would be fixed that cannot be altered the length the 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 cloth is given on the basis of the length of it the width remains as it is so under that circumstance children we get let the length of cloth be x meters Therefore, cost per meter would come out to be 35 by x and the second a new rate would come out to be 35 by x plus 4 and the difference children, the difference would they said would have been a rupee, a rupee less, difference is 1 rupee children, the difference would have been 1 rupee. Let's take the LCM children. Thirty-five, thirty-five x cancel children to give you x squared plus four x is equal to one forty. Or equation becomes x squared x squared plus four x minus one forty equals to zero. Factorizes x squared plus fourteen x minus 10x minus 140 equals to 0 take common take common that's x x plus 14 minus 10 x plus 14 so children that gives us two brackets x minus 10 equal to 0 or x plus 14 equals to 0 that gives us x is equal to 10 or x is equal to negative 14 which is not possible so x is equal to 10 meters 
So, length of the cloth is 10 meters, children. Thank you.